have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length? That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater. Uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here. Yeah. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear. Period. I'm Ultrasaurus. Ultra cool, ultra special, ultra big. It's easy to say my name. Ultrasaurus. Hey, Allosaurus. Should I have an audience? Ultrasaurus, he's the one. Ultrasaurus, that's me. When you think of the biggest dino ever, think of me. I'm so big. Hey, how big are you? I'm so big that when I sit around the pond, I really sit around the pond. <laughs> ha cha 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 cha. Ultrasaurus, he's the one. I'm a herbivore, so I eat lots and lots of plants. Lots. I have to to get this big. He's as big as a bus, folks. Actually, I'm bigger than a bus, Al. I'm as tall as a three-story building. Next floor, socks. But some people think I'm not an Ultrasaurus. They think I'm really just a huge Brachiosaurus, since we look alike. Uh, no, you're Ultrasaurus. You're the one. I'm from what is now known as Colorado, USA. What's the weather like up there? So you want to have a look? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Going up. E. Oh, that's too bad. I, I was just about to show him where his house was. Welcome to my home in the Triassic period, 230 million years ago. What a perfect day, huh? It's always like this here. My name is Herrerasaurus. You say that Herrerasaurus. Did you know that I am one of the oldest dinosaurs? Look out! Here I come! That's the life. Dino <laughs> We'll take that. Theropods. 
We're always playing games like this. I'm not a big theropod, about the size of an elephant, but my tail is very long. As dinos go, I'm one of the earliest ones known. We're in what is now called Argentina in South America. Dino boy! Ah, gotcha! <laughs> See you later! Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. Ah! I live in the land that is now known as Argentina. Uh -huh. Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Jubaria. I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Jig and O Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. <laughs> oh. ah. Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But uh, I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. Ah! Hi! I found you! Ugh. The only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosaurus is little sisters. Okay, sis. Wanna go hunting? Yes! Will you do the road for me? Sure, sis. Eh, she likes it when I do that. Smile, dog! You're staying away from the tar pit, right? Okay, Mom. That's Smilo Dawn. It means knife tooth. Welcome to the Ice Age, a million years ago, and to my tar pits. The dinosaurs have all along vanished. Mammals like me are all over the place. Stop! You can't go this way! Don't get mad at me! You should know that I am a little bit smaller than a lion, but there are some differences between us. Like, I'm much, much heavier. And of course, my choppers are huge. Oh yeah, I'm built for ambush hunting. What the? Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. A puddle of tar? All kinds of animals wander into the tar pits and get trapped. But not me because... Ah! Because your mother told you not to go near them, right? Thousands of Smilodon fossils have been found in tar pits in what is now known as North America. In California, we're the state fossil. Don't forget to wash behind your ears! I hate taking baths. Well, maybe you should stay out of the tar pits and you won't have to have so many. Welcome 
to the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. I'm Othnelia. You say that Oth, Ni, Li, Ya. <laughs> and I'm in the best game of tag I've ever played. Hey, hey, he's right behind us. Nah, he'll never tag us. We're way too fast. I mean, look at me. I'm built for speed. My stiff tail gives me balance to make super sharp turns. You can't tag me. Come here, you little herbivore. I'm not playing. I need to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, right. Why are you chasing me if you're not playing? He's right about me being a herbivore. That's a plant eater. But I'm not that little. I'm about the same size as a big dog. But with my tail, I'm much, much longer. <laughs> Sorry, Al. You'll have to be quicker than that to tag me. I have lots of room to run around here in what's now known as Wyoming, USA. Come back here. I uh, uh, just need to tell you something. Hey! Why'd you stop? Okay, fine. What did you want to tell me? Well, it's very serious. It's very, very serious. Tag, you're it. I can't believe I fell for that. Ready or not, here I come. View, isn't it? Hi, I'm Pteranodon. You say it. Pteranodon, and it means winged and toothless. That's right. In my beak, I have no teeth. Do you want to know a secret? Hey, Pteranodon, I'm going to the picnic now. Oh, the dino picnic. Really? Do you think I can come? Yeah, sure. Every dino can. Remember that secret I want to tell you? Well, the secret is that I'm not a... So okay. Let's go. I'm from what is now Kansas, in the USA. But that's not the secret. Secret? I love secrets. I have hollow bones to make me light, and I have a huge wingspan, about 10 meters wide. That's as wide as a hand glider. That's not a secret, Pteranodon. Okay, fine. Do you want to know my secret? Well, here it is. I'm not a dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. I'm not a dino at all. I'm a flying reptile. I'm related to the dinosaurs, but not actually one myself. I guess I can't come to the dinosaur picnic now. By the way, dinosaur means great lizard. As far as I'm concerned, it also means friend. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. You're the best. My best friend and I are going on a picnic. See you later. Sinosopterex. That's Sinosopterex. It means Chinese lizard wing. On account of the fact that I'm from China. And I am one of the first bird like dinosaurs from 130 million years ago. My arms, ta da, are covered with the neat little feathers. However, I can run really, really fast with my powerful legs. Hey, what are you doing? It's super cool. All you have to do is tuck and you slide all the way down. Eh, it's awfully far down. 
And though I may not be very big, I'm all carnivore. Mmm, meat. Come on, let's go! Uh, uh, don't, don't rush! Me! Oops! <laughs> oh well, I have the longest tail of any theropod dino. Sometimes, it gets in the way. Cool! Yeah! Well, it's my turn now! See you later! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yes, the famous Velociraptor. The Lossa Raptor. It means speedy thief. See my long tail? It lets me run really fast. <sighs> but not for too long. Didn't know I had feathers, huh? I need them to keep me warm. Because, well, 85 million years ago, it sometimes got pretty cold around here. And where is here? It's what is now known as Northern China. I'm not very big either. If you compare me to my cousins like the T-Rex, but like them, I'm a meat eater and I walk on two legs. But I'm just about the size of a big turkey. I hunt in a pack. In fact, this whole time my pack has been watching us. a day playing with your friends. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm a woolly mammoth. You can call me Wooly. My name says it all. I'm big, I'm fuzzy, and I'm lost. I mean, really, how can I find my herd if everything is covered in snow? Welcome to the Ice Age. 100,000 years ago, I guess. Eep. Hey, what's the big deal? My long shaggy hair and my thick layer of underwool keeps me dry and warm. So throwing snowballs won't do anything! Plus, I have special skin which oils up the hair to make me even warmer. Yeah. Aha! I have an idea. <laughs> mm. I use my super long tusk to shovel the snow to uncover this yummy grass. How will I ever be able to eat it all by myself? Ha ha ha. I'm a little bigger than the biggest elephant, but my ears are much smaller than an elephant's. I come from the cold northern part of the world where scientists have found entire woolly mammoths, hair and everything frozen in the ice. People usually get mixed up and think I'm a dinosaur, but I'm really an Ice Age animal. Yeep! Okay, wise guy. <laughs> he got me all right, but at least he knows where the herd is. I thought you knew where they were.
Hi there. Welcome to my forest 66 million years ago. I'm Leptoceratops. Leptoceratops. My name means skinny, horned face. It's good practice for when I get older, when I have to bonk heads with other dinos. We stand, look at the other guy, and bonk heads! Like this. Whoa! <laughs> Good one. You see, lucky for me, I belong to a very special group of dinosaurs. We have these hard heads. It's like built-in safety gear. I have my own helmet. Oh, and see, we also have a beak, like a parrot. And we like to eat plants. I can walk on two legs or four legs. I'm powerfully built. Grrr. I'm about the same size as a horse, but much more powerful. Here, let me show you. Watch out! I think I better keep practicing. But somewhere else. Bye! Greetings! Welcome to the late Cretaceous period. 67 million years ago, in what is now known as North America. Ah, we're all waiting for the eggs to hatch. Hi! I'm True Dawn. True Dawn. It means tooth that wounds. That's because of the very sharp teeth that I have. We're also the smartest dinosaurs around. Hey, Mr. True Dawn, my friend and I have a problem. We had five seeds, I ate two, and now there's only one left. How many did my friend eat? Your friend ate two. I knew it! Hey, Percy, I told you, you owe me two seeds! <laughs> See? Super smart! I'm pretty much half the size of a human being, but since I'm a theropod like a T-Rex, I'm at the top of the food chain. Mr. Trudon, my friends and I only have this one cicade, but both want it. What do we do? Awesome! You're the coolest. Sharp teeth and very sharp toe claws. Oh, they're going to hatch. Well, it looks like we're going to have a big birthday party tonight. But tomorrow, they have to start learning math if they're going to be smart like me. One, two, three! Corythosaurus. That's core. Ritho. Saurus. Do you know what that means? Helmet lizard. It's because of this thing on my head. My herd and I use them to make amazing sounds. Listen. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly what it's supposed to sound like. It must be all the dust from the volcanoes over there. What a sound! That's awesome! How come I can't make a big sound? Why can't I do it? Did you hear that? It's my herd calling. I'm gonna answer them if it's the last thing I do. What am I doing wrong? I wonder if they want to play with me. Hey guys, what do you say we play a game of... Whoa! Did you hear that? 
Did you? Oh, joy! I wonder if they heard it. Oops. Sorry to wake you. I was just so excited that I finally made the same sound as you guys. I'll be quieter. That's what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ne o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede! right by. I'm Eustreptospondylus. That's pronounced Eustreptospondylus. But you can call me Esther. This is my island here in the middle Jurassic period nearly 160 million years ago. Pretty nice, huh? Eustreptospondylus means well-curved vertebrae, which are those bones in your back. As you can see, we are great dancers. Theropods like us are naturals. A theropod means two-legged dino, by the way. This makes us great at doing things on two legs, like running and dancing, and you can tell how much I love to dance. We're pretty long, about the size of a city bus, and we're four meters high at the hips. That's like how high you can jump up on a trampoline. Like most theropods, we have big teeth to eat with and two small arms, which makes it hard to clap, but perfect for playing the maracas. You know what time it is? That's right, limbo time! The limbo king! Only one thing to do now. Give the trophy to the best dancer around. And then, what else? Dance! 